Hola! This story is part of a series titled Memories of Tehran. When I share this story, I get some interesting reactions. Reactions such as, was your mother trying to create conflict between you and your brother? The fact of the matter is, we all have our stories of growing up, what we experienced, and the meaning we give it. Welcome to Storytime with Kumars. My name is Keo Jujina. And this is my story titled, The Red Bath Towel. I hope you enjoy it. Once the color of bright crimson red, the bath towel now hung faded from the scorching sun and the detergents used for washing. Evening time was bath time. After we finished our dinner and before we went to bed, brother and I shared the red bath towel all the way through our young teenage years Summers, when the liquid mercury in glass-lined chambers would rise above the 20C mark, the red bath towel hung outside on a makeshift line made of twine used to secure aircraft parts, something Dad had managed to salvage. During the summer months, when it was time for bath, the struggle for who would be first in line remained at a dull pace, as our interests lay elsewhere like playing games and watching television. During the winter months, when the liquid mercury took refuge under graying skies and school was back in session, the red towel was brought inside to dry, placed on the back of wrought iron chairs next to the kerosene heater. We did not have a dryer back then. The kerosene heaters were not nearly as efficient for drying as the sun. We were always left with a slightly damp feel and the smell of must growing. That is when bath time became a problem, a source of rivalry, for neither brother nor I wanted to be the second person in line to use a towel dampened by the others wiping. Competition for who went first grew fierce, as did the accusations of improper wiping. Arguments ensued and skirmishes resulted, to which mom always came to the running. Being the frugal strategist she was, Mom came up with the idea that each of us should use only half the towel for wiping and leave the opposite side for the other. At first, this seemed to help by just a little, but eventually the struggle came back. Many years later, as I asked Mom about the red towel, and wouldn't it have been simpler just to cut the towel in half, or better yet, give each of us our own towel? Now, in her mid-70s, with her memory fading, Mom can no longer recall the story of why we had to share the red towel. She pauses for a moment and then responds in earnest with, If you would like, I can go to the thrift store and buy you a towel. Looking back, that is exactly what she did when brother, sister, and I first came to live in America and how we each got our own bath towel.